and that's what I want to create for you guys as well. It just makes a beautiful curated space that is unique to you. Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Brenda and for today's video, as you guys can tell by the title, we're gonna be doing a collective haul. It's gonna be items from Amazon, Instagram, from a couple home decor stores that you guys have access to in your area and basically just a collective haul of things that I've collected within the last month. So hopefully you guys enjoy today's video and if you are new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and let's go ahead and hop right into it. So the first place that I wanna talk about is Amazon because I found some really awesome pieces there and I think these are pieces that you guys are going to love. So the first one that I want to talk about is this set of boxes. So this one's kind of like a wicker type of basket, I believe. And these are so affordable on Amazon and they're such a good quality piece and they're also very very affordable so i thought i'd share these with you guys but basically it's just a set of two and if you guys watched my previous video i did share these in there as well and basically what i'm hoping to do with these is to put them in a built-in that i'm going to be doing very very soon in the upstairs area i'm going to be filming that for sure because i know you guys are always asking for me to film when i'm doing projects or like diy projects so that one for sure i will be showing with you guys because now that i feel a little bit more comfortable sharing my knowledge of building things i think now i can actually film it so anyways, I'm hoping that these will go in there and it's just a beautiful two-piece set. They are so big and it just has like this little like like elastic to keep it together and then it just opens like this. It has a really nice wiring in the inside to keep it, you know, um, sturdy and everything and I just love the size. I think this would be perfect to style pretty much anywhere. You could put them in a bathroom and store like hand towels or like feminine products. Um, you could hide so many things in these. So these are definitely some of my favorites that I found on Amazon and I definitely recommend picking these up. So this next item is also one of my favorites and it's this little acrylic tissue box, which I think is so interesting. Like you wouldn't think to actually display your tissue, but I just think this makes it look so high end and just gives it some interest. So I actually have a box right here and I'm gonna open this and I'll show you guys what it looks like because I saw a picture of it on Amazon and I was like, wow, that looks really cute. Like that actually looks really like designer like almost. And you wouldn't really think that when it comes to tissue. So basically you just take your tissues out and then this one has a magnet at the bottom. So you just pull this out like this. It's like so easy. And then you put this thing in here. It's my first time doing this by the way, so. It's actually not difficult at all. And then you flip it and there you go. Look at that, that is so cute. I really, really love this. It's just like displaying your tissue. That is so adorable. I love it. It just kind of gives it that nice like aesthetic look. And speaking of tissue, I do have another vintage tissue box holder that I found. I'll share that after the Amazon items, but um, definitely stay tuned because that one is a beautiful one. And I did find a couple dupes online that I can link for you guys. So anyways, that is another Amazon find. And then this next one is also so beautiful. This is basically a little candle matchstick holder and it's also a striker. So it has like this bowl here or like tray. It's all stuck together. It doesn't come off or anything. And then in here, as you can see this little like reddish brown area, this is a striker. So you basically just put your matches in here. And then whenever you're ready to light a candle, you pull it out and just strike right here. So this one's so pretty. This is from Creative Co-op. I believe this one was like $20, I think. And then just keep in mind though, because I didn't know how big this was. This is actually very big. It's like the size of my hand. So regular size matchsticks are not gonna work in here because they're just very tiny. <laughs> and hopefully that gives you an idea of how big this thing is. So this is like your regular matchstick, obviously. And this is like, it'll literally just eat it because it's so, it's so big. So like, it's just, it's gone in there. So you definitely need the like oversized matchsticks. And I definitely would go with like the ones that have like the white tips. I think that would look so clean and just very, very designer-like. So anyways, this one is also one of my favorites. So pretty and very organic. It has just a really nice, like natural look to it. So another favorite. Okay, so this next one, I'm actually not gonna be using for gardening. I mean, I might at some point, but I actually bought this just for decorative purposes. So these are just bonsai scissors and they're just so beautiful. I've seen these on the McGee Co. website um, and a couple other designer sites. And this one comes with a little like leather strap. Online, it looks as if it was more of a like glossy black color, but now looking at them in person, they're definitely a lot more distressed and probably like very, very close to what you, you would buy from McGee Co. So that's where I was debating like purchasing these because I was like, 
looking at the McGee & Co ones and they look very distressed. It has like a really nice look to it. And I was afraid that these would look way too brand new and they honestly don't. They look handcrafted and that's exactly what I was going for. So they just look like this and they're extremely sharp. So I would definitely be careful if you have kids. This guy, I'm gonna be hanging somewhere where it's not reachable because I definitely don't want them to get their hands on this. Um, and I did read a review about that, that they're extremely sharp. So definitely be careful with these if you do purchase them. Okay, now moving on to one of my most favorite finds on Amazon this week, and that is this inkjet canvas paper. Okay, you guys, when I saw this, I was like, oh my God, like that is so genius, literally. So if you have a printer, obviously you need a printer, um, you can purchase canvas paper that is printable and you can print your art prints onto this instead and make it look more realistic and not on glossy paper at CVS or wherever you get your prints from. So this is just such a great option for those of you that are always constantly printing things. Definitely recommend picking these up and it works on any printer as long as you've got ink, it works. So anyways, this is what I purchased and then I wanna show you guys one of the prints that I made, which I'm so obsessed with. I'll actually insert the DIY that I did right here. I'm gonna be posting it as a, as a short or a reel very, very soon, but um, you guys have a chance to look at it right here of what I did with that paper. So anyways, I am so in love with this one. <laughs> so cute, so cute. I found the print on Etsy. I was scouring the entire like site. I was like, I want something that's more unique and that fits me more. And she's just got the beautiful like braided hair and the little pins in it. And it just reminds me of like old Mexico, kind of like Spanish style. And basically what I did with the paper is I printed it and then I cut around the image and I left a very, very small border. And then after that, I took some scissors and I just basically started fraying the edges and it just made it look very like, just more realistic and more like something that was hand painted. So anyways, this is gorgeous. Definitely recommend painting that paper up because you can do stuff like this that is unique to you and you can't find it anywhere in stores or anybody else has it in their home. Also the frame is from Hearth and Hand at Target. So that's where I got the frame from and she's so cute. So anyways, this is gonna go in our primary bath. Very excited to style that and see how that looks. And it's just giving like amber interior vibes, just Mexico style, you know, with a little touch of Mexico. But definitely recommend it, it's really fun. Seriously, it really is fun. You just gotta be careful with the type of prints that you wanna do. Um, unless you get like a really good printer because I tried printing the other like lady picture that I have that I did on the gloss paper But that one turned out like greenish. I don't think it printed the, the black ink too well So just be careful about that. Okay, so some other Amazon items that I also picked up is two more decor books These I've been wanting to purchase for a while and definitely some must-haves if you guys are looking to purchase more decor books So this one is the kinfolk home one. I believe I have their kitchen one. I'm not entirely sure. Maybe I don't but anyways, I purchased the Kinfolk Home one. It might be a little hard for you guys to see it because it's so bright, but um, I just took the cover off. This is like the actual hard cover and it just, hopefully you guys can see that, but it has like a really nice like engraved name right here and it's just perfect for styling. So I grabbed that one and then I also purchased the Live Beautiful book as well. And this one's just another one. Um, I don't believe this one had a cover, but just looks like this and also really, really good for styling. So those are some other books that I purchased. So moving on to some other miscellaneous items from like all over the place. Some items can't be purchased again because they are vintage, but I will provide some options if you do like the vibe of it. So this one is so beautiful. I found this like, she basically is like a vintage collector and she'll sell these items when she finds them on Instagram. So she'll ship them out and everything. They've got like their websites and whatnot. And she was selling this beautiful tissue box holder and it's like this really beautiful like diamond checkered look. It is so heavy. This thing has gotta be like three or four pounds for sure. But um, it's just gorgeous. I will try and do like a reverse image search to see if I can find it online for you guys. I did find a couple dupes, but they are more checkered than like this diamond shape. But this is gorgeous and I love the vibe of it. It's in my office right now or not right now, cause I'm holding it, but it's sitting in my office and it just adds some like really nice visual interest to it. It just like brings out some pattern from like all of like my neutral decor that's in there. It just, 
it stands out and she's got her own moment over there and she's so pretty so definitely if you're like a neutral decorator like i am adding little patterns like this just really like makes them look so high end and beautiful so anyways i found this baby there i will link her instagram down below just don't try and beat me to buying things we're gonna have a competition over here <laughs> maybe i should gatekeep it I'm just kidding guys i'll share it with you guys but Anyway, I'll, I'll make sure I beat you guys to whatever she's selling. <laughs> she'll do like little like releases and like she'll release at a certain time. So um, catch you over there. <laughs> okay, so moving on to Michael. So this is a print that I picked up there. And as you guys can tell, I'm like really obsessed with prints right now. <laughs> but I thought I'd show this one as well because I don't think this one's hyped enough. And it's so, so beautiful. And it's just like this clear frame with a really pretty, almost like vintage, like, um, photo in there and i love like the aged look that it has and actually what i noticed as well is that these actually are different so if, so if you go to michael's and i'll see if they have that available on the site but i was looking through them at michael's and each picture is different so this one i think has a bow so it's like a little pier area and then the other one had like two horses like the, all the prints are different which i was like wait hold on and i was literally going through all i didn't know which one to pick because i only wanted to buy one but just so you guys are aware that the prints are different on each one so definitely go to michael's and check those out because these are beautiful this one's also styled in my office and i just really love like that it's just really pretty and honestly not something that i've seen a lot of people pick up so um definitely go and find these guys because i think they're perfect for styling and um, i'm not sure how long they're gonna have these for so all right now moving to at home so i went there looking for some picture frames and unfortunately they had like it was like plexiglass not actual glass in the frames and they were like completely scratched up so i was really sad but when I went to return them, I actually found this gorgeous willow basket. It's just a really nice gathering basket. You can find it in the gardening section and I'll link it down below for you guys as well. This one is I think $36 and it's so beautiful. It's not actual like wicker. Um, it seems like it's some sort of plastic. So you can literally put anything on this. You could put food, you could put flowers, pretty much anything. This is definitely a dupe for the McGee & Co one and for $36, I think that's such a great price. I will also put my little reel that I made with this one. <laughs> the second I purchased it, I was like, okay, we gotta make a reel with this because this is so, so beautiful. Um, and yeah, so anyways, it's really big, it's so sturdy. Definitely gonna be using it for when I start gardening outside because I'm gonna be doing that very soon, which I'm also going to film. Okay, so these next two items I also purchased and they're really big, so I can't show them to you guys here, but I will add a little b-roll so you guys can see that but the first one is this beautiful arched mirror from walmart oh my god it is gorgeous it is so big and it's only i think it's under 150 dollars which is a crazy price if you guys follow linen oak interiors over on instagram she shared it and the second i saw it i was like oh my god like i need to get this mirror i sold the wooden one that i had and i bought that one and i am so obsessed so definitely recommend purchasing that one if you're in need for a mirror it's just beautiful seriously you guys i underestimated the size it is so so big so that one's just like literally gold like for the price it is so so worth it and then the other one that i purchased that i also shared in my last video is this beautiful iron and plaster lamp and those are also from another vintage shop on instagram so i'll make sure to link that down below for you guys but i also purchased those as well Alrighty, and then last but not least this is another vintage find as well and it's this beautiful little marble like barber set and it's just it's missing one thing i think but i just think it's beautiful it is vintage so it is a little bit be beaten up but i really love it because it's unique and those are the pieces that i love sourcing so this one just basically has this little like marble dish here and then obviously this little guy i don't i've never used a barber set so i don't know exactly what it's for i'll figure it out if you guys know what it is definitely let me know i know a lot of you beautiful older ladies might know what this is um because this is vintage <laughs> i'm so sorry totally don't mean to say that you guys are old but you guys might know because you're wiser than me <laughs> um but anyways so this is such a beautiful piece and i'm hoping to style it as well on my vanity in our bathroom so i just really love how it looks 
and it's just again just a very beautiful unique piece i did go to etsy and a couple other places to see if i could find some similar ones for you guys so i'll make sure to link those but i think this is such a beautiful set honestly i might consider putting like blush in here and using this for me but we'll see i don't know we i think we could get creative with this so so pretty i love it so anyways that is basically everything that i purchased hopefully you guys like today's haul like i said i'm really trying to be intentional with my purchases and i'm just so so happy with everything that i have here like i could look at every single piece and i just smile because of how happy i am and that's what i want to create for you guys as well is like the purchases that you make that make you happy and you're just like i love this piece i love this piece like all these pieces just make me happy and when you put them together in your home it just makes a beautiful curated space that is unique to you so anyways i hope you guys enjoyed today's video definitely let me know what your favorite piece was if you guys find any similar ones definitely let me know i would love to see how you guys style your spaces as well and anyways i will see you guys in my next video bye guys <laughs>